Do you dream of taking beautiful holiday photos to post on the gram and add to the photo album, but you just aren't sure how to achieve that professional aesthetic? Well, Stella Aquisto has some ideas for you to create and pull off your own DIY photo shoot. I mean, look at the setup. Hey, Stella, good to have you. you in studio. It's been so long. This time of year, we all want to get those beautiful pro photos, and you've got tips for us. I had a pandemic baby, a baby mm. in the height of a lockdown, and so I wanted to do a newborn photo shoot, but didn't have the opportunity to do it or didn't have a photographer, professional photographer to do it for me. So I was like, okay, how can I achieve this look but do it myself? Yeah. So I bought a bunch of props online, you know, did, got a lighting kit and stuff like that. And I was able to do it myself and it actually turned out pretty well. My sister liked it so much that she had a baby over the summer and mm -hmm. then she asked me to do her photo shoot as well. Oh my gosh, yeah. you have a whole new side hustle going on. What can't you do? You do Stop, DIY houses it. and kitchens <laughs> for the kids, like you're doing photo Thank shoots, you. amazing. Okay, let's talk about the things people can do uh, and use at home to make a home photo shoot look a little bit more pro. Okay, so the number one thing that I say you need to use is mm -hmm. lighting. Mm -hmm. You need a good set of lights. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have that natural lighting as well. so. I have right beside me this ring light. I had it already. It ranges anywhere online from like 20 bucks to about $500, depending oh, wow. on the type of lights you want, mm -hmm. right? But I have this ring light here and I use it for everything. I've done like a whole full f like family photo shoot with nothing else but this ring light. Wow. Yeah. Okay, it gets and the job done. It is big. Definitely. And you yeah. can also get more professional kits. You can have a bunch of lights if you want. But if you don't want to spend the money on a lighting kit, there's other ways to do it and to achieve mm -hmm. that look. If you have a nice big window, make sure you go in like a really, really good space with lots of light, you know, face towards that window. Make sure the window's not behind you yeah. so that you're nice and lit. And that also does a great job in itself. One tip that I have for you, if you are doing a photo shoot from home, make sure the space around you is nice and clean. Okay, yeah, so what are we talking about here? <laughs> well, there's nothing worse than getting that perfect photo and then there being underwear in the background or something <laughs> like that, right? So if you're like taking a photo, let's say in this corner right here, and yeah. you got a whole mess, make sure you kick it to the other side of the yes. corner because like you don't want that in your shot. I remember I did a whole, uh, like, I don't know if it was a live, but it was something, and it was a long piece of script, and I look behind me, and there's a plastic bag hanging on the door with garbage. I'm like, no! no! no I know, it's the worst feeling. So you do, you gotta clean up all gotta around your area, because you don't know what it's gonna get. Yeah, what's I gonna speak get from shot. experience, trust sure me. I've do. done it many times, I'm like, no, why? Why? Yeah. Okay, let's talk props, because you wanna grab okay. some props, and we're not even talking about going out and buying anything, but just things you can find around the house. Exactly, so I have some stuff set up in front of me. Mm -hmm. This swaddle right here is what I use for the newborn photo shoot. Cute. So that I had to order online and then I looked up a bunch of like YouTube videos on how to swaddle a baby which it's harder than it looks it's that's tough, for sure. Eh? Yeah it's yeah. tough and I use that. Uh, you can also use like this. I have a mirror right? Uh -huh. So you use the mirror you aim your picture like your camera right behind uh -huh. so that you just take a shot of the reflection and that just makes things look a little like nicer right and yeah. different it's a good pro trick exactly say if you wanted to do like a cooking photo shoot yes. right you can use just pots and pans and utensils that you have laying around the house i did that mm. with my kids too and then you can use this camera, I have this written Stax camera. I took a picture of my subject. Yeah. And then you print it out. And then once you print it out, you get the subject to hold the picture, like in front of them. Oh, yeah. And then you take a picture of a picture. So it's very like inception like. Yeah. Right? So it's like a picture within a picture. So that's kind of cool. You can use this for like flock and stuff like that, this artificial snow. And you oh, can nice. use that for holiday photos just to like jazz things things up mm -hmm. but then there's this see we have this beautiful backdrop behind do us do you right have this now. at home styles because i would not be surprised well i do actually <laughs> but it's not white it's a brick one that i use for my holiday photo Good shoot yeah and it was so cool everyone's like oh did you go to a studio to do these pictures and i didn't yeah. i just transformed my living room into a studio a makeshift studio with this ring light and then of course that brick backdrop but you could use this and then if you don't, let, I mean, not everyone has this, right? Right. So uh, you could also use just like a white bed sheet. That yes. works. Yes. And then when I did a newborn photo shoot, I used this to like replicate cute. hardwood floor. So That's nice. So it's fabric. You ordered that online? Yes. 
Okay, very yeah. nice. I've done the bed sheet thing as well. I tried to replicate like the Jostens photos we get and? at school because that they turned out fine. Listen, yeah. the lighting could have been better. I, maybe I should have <laughs> ironed the sheets, but it's a good. At least I got a shot of my kids uh, in that year because they weren't doing school photos because of the pandemic, right? Well, that's a good tip. Yeah. That is an actual good tip. Iron your sheets before Iron your you sheets. Use them. do that, or you see yeah. all the little creases. Exactly. Okay, so you've got another little um, sort of effect you can yes. use to make a really cute holiday picture. And I just, I'll call in T. Yes. And you can take a photo of both of us together. Perfect. Okay, so. Hi, T. So you have your space and you want, like, you have your space, you have decor already, you have, like, a Christmas tree. Use whatever you have laying around the house to create a nice holiday look. Okay. And then I have this right here, just a piece of glass. Yeah. Or you could use your front window of your house. And then I sprayed flock around the corners to make it look like a snowy window. Ooh. All right. Oh, that whole thing's okay. going to be a window. Okay. Fancy. So we pose. All right. right. So then I just angle it like this. Let's do the fake glass for it. Ready? One, two, two three. three. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> this is From so good. Professional fake laughers. <laughs> uh, it looks amazing. You know what? It's good. You guys are pros. Okay, yeah, nice, nice work. I love it. Thank you, Stell. So good. Thank you.